If the case of 7-Eleven Kings Highway Corporation versus FIM's Marine Repair Service, Incorporated were made into a movie, the trailer would begin, Who knew that the common law and a statute would end up in a duel over a simple rental contract? Fortunately, it's unlikely the case would ever hit the silver screen. However, it's an interesting illustration of the interaction between common and statutory law in a surprising context. In 1965, 7-Eleven Kings Highway Corporation, or Kings, leased real estate to FIM's Marine Repair Service, Incorporated, or FIMS, pursuant to a written lease agreement. The 15-year lease provided that FIMS would operate a movie theater on the leased premises. According to Kings, other than the $5,000 security deposit FIMS tendered, the lease remained entirely executory. Kings filed a complaint against FIMS, seeking either a declaratory judgment that the party's lease was invalid or rescission of the lease, as well as an injunction preventing FIMS from exercising any rights under the lease. In support of its complaint, Kings alleged that because FIMS had a certificate of incorporation that limited its operation to so-called marine activities, namely activities involving the building, repair, and maintenance of marine vessels, FIMS exceeded its corporate authority with the operation of a movie theater. Accordingly, because FIMS lacked the authority to operate a movie theater, Kings claimed the party's lease was invalid. FIMS moved to dismiss Kings' complaint for failure to state a claim for which relief could be granted.